Oh, man. Oh, man. What is going on? Bronny James has declared for the NBA draft and is leaving USC. And I stepped away for a couple days from basketball, from IG, keeping up with everything. And now all of a sudden, Bronny James is doing something that could destroy his entire career. Now, some people think I'm over-exaggerating, but man, you know what happens when dudes who are not ready try to make it to the NBA. Things do not end up working in their favor for the most time. Now, Bronny put out this message here where clearly you can see it, and people, I'm going to be honest, I was shocked when I saw this news. This is crazy because, man, we know Bronny and the type of numbers, just the type of performance he had this year. Of course, he was dealing with some heart, you know, heart surgery and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, he just doesn't seem like he's ready to make that move. So I was very surprised to see him putting his name in there. A lot of people are saying, you know, good luck to Bronny. We'll see what he does. But you even see this crazy. This dude thinks he's ready for the NBA. LOL has 14,000 likes. So I'm clearly not the only one who feels this way. A lot of people know. Man, Bronny really shouldn't be doing this, but I think it's kind of being fueled more of trying to play with LeBron in the future. Now, we all know that is LeBron's goal. He wants to play with his sons. And at the end of the day, man, no diddy. And at the end of the day, you can clearly see here, this is a way you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be aggressive. You're going to have to be on a team where you are the man and you're going to have to play well. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like this move by Bronny James, but... I mean, you you see it, man. Shams is telling you what it is, so you know it's official as well. And you even see this, man. Uh, some people don't believe what I'm saying, and they think it's a good move. And let's see this comment here. You see, y'all tripping. Bronny is definitely good enough to play at this level, and he has showed that time after time. Top 10 pick confirmed. Man, stop the cap. This dude's got to be trolling or something like that. I don't believe a word he says. Man, Bronny is definitely not a top 10 pick. He has great defense, he has a good IQ, but just his scoring is really lacking, and I'm going to show you exactly why, but you see this one here as well, so do you want to transfer or enter the NBA draft? Bronny, yes. Bro basically did ha answered yes to both of those questions, and this dude was putting up the numbers, showing the type of numbers Bronny had, 4.8 points per game. Does that sound like a dude that's ready to be a top 10 player in the NBA draft? I don't know. Those numbers are just not looking like they're adding up to me. And even bro hinting at in this post as well, the only reason Bronny is really making this move is because his father, and we all know that has a huge part to play in this information as well. And you see 2.8 points per game, 2.1 rebounds per game. Man, I wonder where he's going to end up going. Now, Bronny is still holding on to his eligibility, which is super important. But man, it's a crazy move. It's a crazy time in basketball. But let's see what's going on. I mean, you see it. It's official. I don't know how many posts I have to show you, but you see Bronny is making that move officially. It's just crazy to see he's maintaining his eligibility, which means he can still go back and go to another college team. He's probably just working out with a lot of these NBA scouts and recruiters and coaches to really see what's good. And that is the best way to do it. I'm not going to lie. Now, we got to talk about this. There were some rumors going around that Coach Calipari for Kentucky would be leaving and joining Arkansas at a five-year deal. Now, I'm reading this thinking, okay, that's kind of crazy. I mean, it's probably capped. Coach Calipari has been at Kentucky for so long, and they even ended up losing first round this year in March Madness, which was kind of crazy. And then the news officially dropped. Shh, oh, man, this was crazy. Coach Calipari is finalizing a five-year deal to become the next head coach at Arkansas. And I'm going to be honest. I started reading this, and I said, Man, this is the craziest thing. We all know the Blue Bloods have been around for such a long time. And to see Coach Calipari, a dude who is such a renowned coach, has so many wins, has coached such good players in the past, and is moving schools is insane. Now, someone even said here, Coach Calipari's switch before GTA 6 drop is just crazy. And that's a fact, man. If you guys play GTA, everyone has been waiting that for years. And Coach Calipari moving to a different school is is wild. I thought he would pretty much retire at Kentucky, but I guess that is not the case. Now, in NBA terms, this is like Steve Kerr leaving the Warriors and going to the Jazz out of nowhere. And that's what I'm saying, man. Clearly, we all know Coach Calipari has that name to him as well. Is definitely one of the best coaches out here in college basketball. And now just going to Arkansas, 
hey, maybe, who knows, maybe he'll catch Bronny James on Arkansas and get him to the league to be able to play with LeBron. At the end of the day, you never know. Bronny's name is in the transfer portal. And if he was to go to Kentucky, I'm going to be honest, that would be the most insane thing I've ever saw. I don't know if Bronny can really hang with some of those recruits that would be his teammates, but it is an option. I'm not going to lie. Now, the greatest picture I ever saw, and you see some people reacting to this, wow, I'm actually in shock. The Kentucky downfall as well. A lot of people know, man, once a coach leaves, you know all the recruits are decommitting from Kentucky or going to the NBA. So Kentucky is going to be looking real crazy this year. Now, this image right here, I got to tell you, and if you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And man, look at Drake right here. You see Drake, and he's dapping up Coach Kyle Perry with the Arkansas gear on. This is really, man, this is crazy right here. I'm not going to lie. You see Drake is a culture vulture. You guys know that. But to see him actually here with Coach Kyle Perry already riding the bandwagon. And you see in the comments, everybody is basically saying, nah, Drake definitely does not need to make this move. Stay in Kentucky. I guarantee you he's going to have this fit on. In a couple months, just wait on it. Now, we got an updated NBA mock draft. You know the mock drafts are always exciting to see who is getting drafted, who are these top players that teams and coaches, NBA staff is looking at. And let's take a look at these numbers right here. So we got this first list. And you guys know, Rob Dillingham is now number two. Number two is crazy. Rob really made it past Reed Shepard, a ton of these other guys, and now he's number two. And I don't even believe Rob is that tall of a player. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he's only around 6'3", which is fire just to see his name is so high on this list. Now, you also have his teammate Reed Shepard as well that's on there, which is fire. Man, two players from the same team, and they are two and three is definitely exciting. And you see Donovan Klingon also. He made a huge name also when he was in March Madness. A lot of you guys know him on UConn. And you see Edie is not. Zach Edie, who was playing for Purdue and made a huge run. Of course, Purdue lost in the championship round in March Madness. Is not even in this top seven. Donovan Klingon is over him. And you know, you see the comment right here. Edie just put 37 and 10 on Klingon. And that's crazy, man. You you got to put some respect on Edie's name for sure. Now, we also see Jared McCain at number 12. OKC. Man, you see what Jared McCain's holding up. We going to get right into that. But also, Isaiah Collier at 14 from USC. Bronny's teammate. Also super exciting to see as well. Man, you know Isaiah Collier is definitely a bucket solid guard. And I believe he is very tall. Probably 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, so just that type of point guard. Or at least 6'6". Six, six. But at being a point guard with that much height is definitely very dangerous. And you see some other names here as well. Maybe a little less notable. But it's crazy, man. This mock draft. You know what they're saying about this mock draft. They are saying that this, again is one of the worst drafts that they have seen in years. And I feel like they say that every year. At the end of the day, this is the future of the NBA. And you're going to have to work with what we have. And some people even hating on Reed Shepard, saying he is not a top three pick. Man, that's tough. Reed Shepard is starting to get some more hate. I think he definitely had a lot of solid games. Now, man, a controversial topic right here. Duke guard Jared McCain signs NIL deal with beauty and nail polish brand Sally Hansen. Oh, man. Oh, man. You see that because a lot of people know Jared McCain has been painting his fingernails, doing all this. And you see here, I like to get manicures. The hate is funny because it's usually grown men. You're a grown man hating on a kid. And you see it right here. This is basically Jared McCain just talking about the situation. But we also see as well, ain't nobody hating this a grown man doing. <laughs> basically, look, man, they're saying that this is not it. At the end of the day, I can't get behind this at all. This is some different stuff. But, I mean, he's getting to a bag. But there's got to be some limits. At the end of the day, man, this is real zesty right here. But, man, Jared McCain, you're going to do what you got to do. Yeah, man, they're saying masculinity is dead, and that's real tough. That's real tough, man, but we can't, we can't sugarcoat it. Now, we got, lastly, man, Mac McClung. Mac McClung has finally done it. 
He has won MVP of the NBA G League. Man, give a give a clap for Mac McClung, man. You know Mac has been this has been a long time coming. I know this is not where he wants to be, but you just see how solid, how many points he's been putting up. Man, the jump shot, the handles, the athleticism, winning dunk contests. It's just like this dude cannot lose. And I just love his enthusiasm. I mean, you know, especially because Mac McClung is white, he definitely gets a lot of this, you know. Basically, when you got bounced like that, man, people are going to gravitate towards your game. And it's fire to see Mac McClung is really putting on, for, I believe he's from Virginia, Gate City. So shout out to Gate City. He's putting on. And you see it here. He just looks like he's dominating. He is a cold-blooded dude right here. And I got to clap it up for him. 25 points per game, 5 rebounds, just around 7 assists. You see Kyrie Walker commented on the situation you see this as well. I don't know what else he got to do to prove the league is crazy. I feel like if you're a G League MVP, at the very least, you should be moving up to the G to the league automatically. And it's definitely controversial. I think Bro is putting a ton of work to where I feel like he should get a shot. I mean, he's sometimes played for NBA teams, but definitely not for a long amount of time. And hopefully, man, this G League, there's so much talent in the NBA nowadays. And even the G League, Mac McClung can finally make it out.